Hi, this is for Dad, and this is a video of showing how to take a JPEG, a regular uh, picture of something, and turning it into an EPS, and then we'll stone it. I might have to do this in two videos. Um, so I've got my JPEG here, so I go ahead and I marquee it. Um, I'm going to blow it up a little bit, and to vectorize it, all you have to do to vectorize it is come over to your vector button over on the right-hand side, It'll pop up a menu over on the left hand side. I like to use my bezler when I have some rounded surfaces. So hit my bezler, um, hit that one, hit the OK button, bring my magic wand over, see the comparison here, and I just go with what it tells me to do. So let it do its work here, and it's already vectorized, and, and there it is. I'll push this one over here and get rid of my outlines here that it likes to give us and I'm going to make a couple of these just so that we have a, a couple different ones to do something else with if we want. So now I'm all vectorized, I'm an EPS, I would normally go up here under file and export it now and name it and export it so I have it for the future. Um, but to, to stone it um, then what I would do is I would come into my stone feature here. I'm going for a 3 millimeter stone, which is a 10 SS. I come up three spaces to give it enough space for my stones to go in, roll around, and come back out again. So I hit apply, and um, when it's little here, you can see that didn't turn out really good. So let's take it to the size I'm actually going to use on, on a shirt, which is going to be about a 10, 10 by 10. And so on a 13, I have it and there it looks much much nicer. You can see on here I've left it at the settings that it gives me to put on there so the stones are spaced but you can change those around a little bit if you want. I'm going to go ahead and move this one out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and just actually let's just go ahead and reverse that there we go and um, I'm gonna go ahead and show a little different way too of doing this so I'm gonna leave my stones there and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the outside of that and I'm gonna apply only to the outside ring and I'm just gonna kinda pick that design apart and apply the stones where I want it and in this area I wanna fill it so I come over here and hit the fill button and hit apply and it fills that area for me that I've selected and this is a good way if you wanna change different colors on your your pattern or you want some filled and some not filled and that's just a really good way of doing it and if you wanted to come through here then and save it you could do that I'm gonna go ahead and um, just uh, go ahead and put that over into all of that go to 13 SS stone and I'm gonna go ahead here and throw that over into um, a regular rhinestone so we can kind of see how that how that looks whoops so how that looks so and then what I would do is I would if this was for a client I would take and I would put a box around it make a black marquee the box and go up up here under order and put it in the back bring my my uh, design forward here get rid of these guys whoops let's just move that out of the way and I would then um, come in through here and make this a little bit larger so we can whoops so we can see this better and there we go so you can actually see the stones in there and that makes a real nice presentation so that's a really fast way of showing you how to um, vectorize something really fast and how to put it to stone